Welcome to Nona Snowden Cooks Again. Happy New Year. I hope y'all had a wonderful and Merry Christmas. And everybody got Santa Claus and there goes the laundry again. But I'm not doing that right now. In any case, so what you have to eat on New Year's is black-eyed peas and cabbage. I don't know why. I told y'all I think it's a law in Texas. So that is what we are cooking today. New Orleans tradition. Oh, it's New Orleans? Okay. All right. So y'all come over here. The first thing I have done is soak the black eyed peas overnight. Now there's a very good reason you do this. It's because apparently it's supposed to uh, help keep you from getting a little bit too gassy. You know, beans, beans, a magical fruit and all. Um, so you soak it overnight. And I was going to tell y'all a little story. Back in the day, Nono was on an eight-way skydiving team. And um, I had fed him some red beans and rice on Friday. And then he went for his team practice on Saturday. Now, you got to rinse the beans out. That's what I'm doing. I soaked them overnight, and I'm going I'm to rinse them. Okay, they're getting all rinsed. So, I'm sitting there minding my own business. They land, and the team ca Captain Tom Jenkins, rest in peace. Anyway, he came up to me, and he is very upset at something and he got his finger out and he just got and he started yelling at me he said don't you ever feed that man beans and rice on a skydiving weekend team practice weekend again and um apparently no no almost took out the entire plane with his noxious gaseous self it, 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 well that could happen to you what are you gonna do okay so we're over here now we got our bean black eyed peas in the pot we're putting in about a handful and a half of garlic this is the fresh garlic, okay? You could use a canned garlic if you want to. It's easier. But, I, you know, I chop it up. I got this neat little choppy thing that I, I just love. It's wonderful. It makes it easier. Yes, it does. Okay, so now the garlic mm -hmm. is in the pot. Now we put two onions, cabbage and black-eyed peas, two onions going in the pot. Now we got... About a pound of good bacon. This is a good deli thick cut bacon, not that cheap plasticky stuff wrapped in plastic. We, you don't need that. Okay, next we got andouille sausage. And um, mine is the, the Holmes Smokehouse sausage right here. In any case, one pound of the andouille is going in the pot. And there it is, right there. Okay, now we got, this is the ham bone from Thanksgiving. And um, I didn't know it was in the freezer. I didn't have it in my refrigerator. I had it in the freezer, and we thawed it out last night. And here you go. It's looking good. There we are. Okay. Ham bone in there. Now, uh, hang on. What are we doing? You know, oh, you know, if you're playing with the meat, you got to wash your hands. That's how it works. You got to wash your hands. So I'm going to wash my hands real good. Mm hmm. Dry them up. Now, coming back over here. And we're going to put one can of Rotel in the pot. And we're gonna put some of this garlic power sauce, Cajun garlic power sauce, and that is yummy and delicious. And about that much of that right there. Mm-hmm, okay. And, okay, if y'all, you know what's coming next. The good salt, Uncle Polly's garlic, ghost pepper salt that is so delicious and we're going to put about that much of that in there and now it's crawfish town uh extra spicy hot uh it's got a little more kick to it than your regular tony sasheries and put a little bit of that in there and now okay this is one whole head of cabbage and we'll put the whole because that's a whole lot of pot there so the I'm pretty sure the whole head of cabbage will fit so we're gonna put that in there okay that is working there we go. Now, I'm going to tell y'all what. The, the sound might be a little off from the video, and that is because I'm re-recording this because I'm pretty sure no, no, uh, uh, pushed the off button, and, and the sound went out on the video, and it was, so my newfangled microphone was turned off, and it didn't work, and I can't recook the beans, the black-eyed peas, because I don't have any more. So, in any case, we aren't doing this again. We're just going to pretend like, uh, you know, we're doing it right now, and it don't mind any difference in, you know. And this is the goat butter. Y'all know how I like the goat butter. So we're putting a Del Mar goat butter in there. That is delicious. Uh, you can use the regular butter if you don't like the goat butter. But do not use the margarine. The, the margarine is just terrible. Okay, now we're coming over here, and we're getting 
Oh, y'all see my stash up there? I got the Cajun power sauce and the, the good salt stashed away up there. That's because I have to order the good salt. Uh, and so I like to get a lot at one time. That way I don't have to place orders too often. Okay, now we're coming over here because I had a, a box of chicken broth right there in the fridge that I had just opened last night uh, from cooking some delicious cauliflower. Okay, so putting the open one in and... Um, uh, there you go. That's about got it. And then we're going to get that second uh, box of chicken broth in there in just a second. Okay. And, um, and we have had people to ask me about the LSU blanket that is right there in the doorway right next to me. And I'm going to tell you that story. So what happened was my house flooded. And there's that LSU blanket. And there's supposed to be a door there, but there isn't a door there because No-No has not hung my door yet. Apparently, my nagging skills are lacking, and I haven't done a very good job nagging him because it ain't up yet. So that's why we went ahead and put that there so y'all wouldn't see the all ten kind of nastiness that is in my laundry room right now. We're trying to hide that from y'all, though I know y'all saw it in the first couple of movies. Um, or the videos, or whatever it is I'm doing here. Nobody know. Okay. So here is the rest of the chicken broth going in the pot. And like I say, y'all don't mind if the, if the lips and the, the we are not in sync. That is okay. All right. Now, we're going to crank this up on high. We're going to cook it maybe two, three, four hours. I don't know. We, I don't know why everybody wants to ask me. Oh, every, why you got to ask me when is it going to be done? It's going to be done when it is done. I don't know how long you cook it for. You cook it till it's finished. It's not this hard. Okay. So now, there it is. You can cook it till it's finished. Uh, when it starts to boil, we're going to turn it down to low, and we're just going to let it cook for a while. And uh, that'll be good right there. Everything will be good. Now, New Year's, we're going to eat that, and that's going to give us a lot of good luck and prosperity in the New Year. That's why you eat it, because it gives you luck and prosperity and all sorts of goodness in the New Year. That's what they say anyway. See y'all in a minute. Mm-hmm, I, no, I didn't know no-no did that. All right, guys, we have finished up our black eyed peas and cabbage. Hang on just one second. I want to talk to you. You know what I want to talk to you about. Jump for the Rose. Jumpfortherose.org. We host skydiving events and raise money for the Rose, the largest breast cancer treatment center here in the Houston area where everybody can go regardless of ability to pay. We have beautiful t shirts for sale. Um, this is a big old hoodie, this one's long sleeve. We got them in different colors and sizes for the guys, for the gals, whatever. Um, they're lovely. So, in this, see, I got mine on the back there. Okay, so this is what we have done. I went ahead and made up a little pot of rice to go with the black eyed peas and cabbage. And uh, come down here and look. The black eyed peas and cabbage are all cooked up. They're all yummy and tasty. And the end product here, you just come over here, get you some rice in the bowl. All right. Then back over here. Oh, and put your black eyed peas and cabbage together. And there you are. This is your good luck New Year's meal. I'll see y'all next week.